Okay. So previously people had uh most people that were asking about genes for good, they were looking for information about their ancestry, you know, um, their general makeup, where their family comes from. One of the other things that you could do is you can actually get a health report. Now, genes for good, like I've said previously in other videos, genes for good is basically it's a good way to get the free DNA test, but then you have to take your raw data from genes for good and you have to move it over to other websites that can actually help now I'm gonna talk about three websites um, there are probably more but this is just what I'm gonna talk about first one I'm gonna talk about is just to basically drop their name is Le uh, Livewilla and that's the website that I'm on right here I know that they will accept uh, the VCF files, which that is the type of file that you're going to get from Genes for Good. Um, they are a pay site, so you're going to pay for those results. Um, but I, I want wanted that on here because I it does exist. The next one is I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Promises, I guess, whatever. dot com. Um, it's another website. Um, they're really good. I've worked with them to get my health reports from, like, my Ancestry.com test and stuff like that. The only thing is, is they, too, are going to be a, a website that you're going to pay for. It's $10 to uh, get the test done through them. Um, basically, everything that's on on this website is what was from 23andMe before the FDA got involved with 23andMe and they stopped the health reports um, a little while ago. But they since they're starting to get their health reports back once approved by the FDA. Um, you're going to see on this website you're going to see a lot of things that say that uh 23andme's report because it's pretty much the same thing um there's nothing fancy here you're going to get all your results but nothing pretty um but it doesn't really matter um they do have your report will be deleted after 45 days. Now, back with this website a while ago, I um, I actually printed out my report, and you get a lot of pages. So, obviously, it's there if you do want want to print it out. Uh, or copy and paste it and put it in a note file or something so you have everything since it's going to be deleted. Um, so I just wanted to say this one as well. But the one that, because I've been working to show you how to get everything done for free, um, we're going to work with this website. And as you can see, it's codegen.eu. Now this is where you're going to come into to play and you're going to start working on your that that raw data file that you got for Genes for Good. You're going to go down here to the button right in the middle that says start exploring. Now since we didn't do 23andMe, we did Genes for Good. I mean, I have somebody on here. All you have to all you have to do is connect it to your 23andMe and it'll work right right from the 23andMe website if you took a 23andMe t test but we're not focusing on that today today we're focusing on down here the button that says advanced download genome file click advanced and then you're gonna hit browse you're going to go to your download file. Now, since 
we are our, since it's got something to do with health reports, I went on and copied a folder here or so that it just says private. You're going to open with, then you're going to get all of these files. Now you're going to get the seventh one down. And that's going to be this one right here that says GFG filtered unfazed genotype 23 and me. You're going to right click, copy. Then you're going to go back and do it again since obviously it didn't copy it. Okay, copy, paste. Then you have the you have uh, the text file. You're gonna copy it. Are you? Then you're gonna click on the the file. You're gonna click send to. You're gonna compress the file. Then you have a compressed file here. You're gonna go back to your website. Hit browse, and then it's it's right here. You're going to open, start exploring. Now, it does take a minute to open, so uh, one of the things that I wanted to tell you is you have to read everything when it comes to this because it doesn't mean simply because you have something that says bad or there's someone here will be warning or whatever it is it doesn't mean that you're going to get whatever it says it, it basically they their reports based on an x number amount of people that has particular genes so you know it'll say you know, people with this particular gene have been found to have this disease or this whatever the issue is. It doesn't mean you're going to have it simply because somebody else did. Now, this, this person who I made their folder private so that you didn't know whose name was on the folder. You know, you've got these bad listed here, you know. There's the drop down menu. It's going to give you more information. Something else that I like here is you can add comments about each thing. And that's something that, you know, I find good. Because it gives you an idea about, you know, well, somebody else has this particular, oh yeah, this particular gene or whatever. So, you know, they had it or they don't have it. And it kind of just gives you an idea. Um, but you have to take, you have to read all the information and take it with a grain of salt. Like this right here says, that this particular person this particular person has one copy of the H63D gene so they're a carrier of and I'm not going to pr pretend that I can pronounce that likely likely unaffected unless they have the C2A2Y carrier now this person because I already know who it is I I know that they are not a carrier of this C2 8 to Y. They're not a carrier, so they're a carrier of this gene, but not this gene. And it just gives you general ideals. Um, it says that lighter green, brown, or hazel eye, eye color based on the gene. I know the person, I know what color their eyes are, and it is, it's correct. Um, the person is light skin of European ancestry. Eh. 
I, w I would probably agree that that's correct as well. Um, this person does not have a peanut allergy as that I know of. So, but it says that they have a three time higher risk for developing a peanut allergy. You know, it just, I'm not sitting here at going through everyone because we will be here all day doing it. But it just gives you ideals uh, of higher risk for this or that or whatever it is. Another thing that you can do on here is if you're only wanting to look at bad things or, or whatever, you know, you can choose just to look at at bad things that came back as bad with your genes or good, you know, um, normal lower risk for multiple sclerosis, um, lower risk for breast and ovarian cancer. There's so many on here. You can also choose your topics. This person, it says that based on the these genes, it's increased risk of mental health disorders, higher risk of coronary heart disease, uh, two times risk for Alzheimer's. Um, we already went over that one. Common or rare or whatever you want to look at. And then you have this view as well, so that you can see each one. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Now, um, back on the main report page. Over here on the right hand side, you have the print all button. So it makes it easy if that's something you want to do. So pretty simple. You can already see how I showed you to get your genes for good over here. Um, yeah, that's all I could pretty much say. Obviously, you're gonna your results are gonna be much different than these, but just play around with it and see where you want to go with it from there.